The investigation into Donald Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election in Georgia has expanded into his inner circle. An Atlanta area grand jury just subpoenaed his former attorney, Rudy Giuliani, and Senator Lindsey Graham, among others. CNN's Sarah Murray is here with us. Sarah, what have you learned? Well, look, this is a new round of subpoenas coming for this Atlanta area grand jury, which is investigating whether Donald Trump or any of his allies committed crimes in their efforts to overturn the 2020 election. So it's getting closer to Trump's inner circle. Like you said, these are subpoenas that are going out to former uh, Trump attorney Rudy Giuliani, as well as South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham. There are also a handful of other former Trump campaign attorneys who received or who have been subpoenaed to appear before the grand jury. Those include John Eastman, who we've heard a lot about in the January 6 hearings, Jenna Ellis, Cleta Mitchell, who was an attorney who was on that call between Trump and Raffensperger, where Raffensperger pressed, uh, or where Donald Trump pressed Raffensperger to find the roughly 11,000 votes for him to win, and Ken Chesbrough, who's another person we've heard about in the January 6 hearings, who allegedly worked with these officials in Georgia to put forward this slate of electors. So we've seen a lot of activity out of this grand jury. This is, of course, significant because it is moving closer to Trump. An attorney for Giuliani declined to comment on this, and we have reached out to Lindsey Graham's office, but have not heard back yet. Allison. Okay, Sarah Murray, thank you very much for the latest. Mm -hmm. Let's bring in CNN legal analyst Jennifer Rogers. She's a former federal prosecutor. So, Jennifer, what do these subpoenas tell us about the investigation? Well, it's moving forward, and it's moving forward at a pretty good clip, Allison. I mean, they're not going to show up tomorrow and testify. They're first going to assert some privileges. Those issues may have to be litigated. But the good news is that unlike with the January 6th committee, there's a judge, an actual judge, who oversees the grand jury in Fulton County. So they'll be able to get through these issues much more quickly than the January 6th committee was able to deal with them. And, you know, it's also a grand jury subpoena is different from a congressional committee subpoena. They won't want to defy it or they could find themselves in jail even. So I do think that it means that they will ultimately, if they want, get some testimony from these people to just take a little bit of time to sort through those issues. And how about the fact that a sitting senator, Lindsey Graham, has been subpoenaed? Is that, how uncommon is that? Well, it's, it's extraordinary. I mean, of course, everything about the effort to overturn the election was extraordinary and who was involved in it. Uh, but you're right, the notion that Lindsey Graham called and tried to pressure Brad Raffensperger and other election officials to overturn the results is extraordinary. And the fact that a grand jury may be trying to hold him responsible for it or at least get information from him is also extraordinary. And, and so, Jennifer, one more time, you're saying, I mean, we have seen them be uncooperative, for instance, Rudy Giuliani in the past. So if they try to defy the subpoena, then what happens next? Well, if they just refuse to show up, I mean, these things, of course, are all negotiated through the lawyers and so on. But if they just defy the subpoena, refuse to show up, even after issues of attorney-client privilege are litigated, you know, they have to show up to assert the fifth. So that's not even an ex excuse for not coming. But, you know, the judge can issue an arrest warrant if push comes to shove. So I don't think you'll see the sort of level of defiance that we saw from witnesses in the January 6th committee, I think they will be responsive. Although, again, they're going to try to throw up as many privilege roadblocks as possible to delay things and try to narrow the scope of what they have to testify about. You know, the other possibility here, Allison, is that once they get through the attorney-client issues, the grand jury may actually uh, immunize these witnesses, and then they wouldn't have any excuse not to testify. So we'll have to see how it plays out, but they're not going to be able to play the same kinds of games that they played in the January 6th committee context. That's interesting. And it, uh, is there any way to know at this point what this means for former President Trump? Not really, except that they are moving forward. I mean, it's clear that the grand jury has been busy. They're working hard. They're pushing forward. Fannie Will Willis is telling us that you know, she does not expect to take all the time the grand jury has, which is till I think May of next year, 2023. So they're moving quickly. We don't yet know what they will do, but they're marching forward. And if they hadn't found anything, they would have wrapped up by now.